I'm Peter Martin, the Commissioner of Queensland Corrective Services, and I'm here today at the Townsville Correctional Complex to pay tribute to the officers that have done an amazing job over the course of the last week dealing with a very unprecedented natural disaster. The flooding that's impacted the Townsville area and the uh, surrounding uh, precincts has been unprecedented, uh, is quite historic uh, and amazing, and has caused a great degree of impaction upon the business of Queensland Corrective Services. The work that we do is such that we're a 24-7, seven day a week, 365 day business. We never sleep, we don't shut our doors, the business must go on. The work of our uh, staff in terms of keeping the prison operating and operating effectively while humanely dealing with the prison population has been quite amazing. When the weather event started we had no idea how serious it was going to be so as our staff dropped off and they became weather affected uh, we drew more and more from our reserve and casual pool. We were able to fully run the jail 95% of the time that the 14 day flood was happening. So we were pretty lucky. Um, obviously a number of our staff have been affected in the wider community, but we were able to normalise our operations. I also want to pay tribute to the over 28 officers or so that are working in the community today, particularly repatriating the Queensland Corrective Services staff who have been personally impacted by the flooding event. We're currently in the suburb of Adalia in Townsville, uh, which has been uh, one of the worst hit uh, areas of this significant weather event that we've had uh, in Townsville in, in the past week. Uh, what we've done is we've got about 28 staff, a combination of uh, correctional officers and probation and parole officers, uh, put a team together to come and help um, other officers that are uh, most affected uh, from our workplace and try and give them, uh, pick up their spirits and give them a hand in terms of the, the um, enormous effort of clean up that's, that's got to go on. It's a wonderful support to be able to provide to our staff. Um, we're a couple of days into the recovery event now and that's when the emotional side of things start to impact because they've spent the last three days in clean up mode. So it's good to be able to come and give them a helping hand, uh, you know, bring a hot coffee to them, uh, take the mops out of their hand and let them have a bit of a spell so that we can uh, take the load off them and, and do the work for them. The, the river was very high so... Um, so Friday lunchtime yeah. we got texts and it was suggested by the Towns and City Council to move so we did. Um, and yeah, we just had, we just waited it out and, and hoped and prayed that it wouldn't actually happen, but it did. Um, mm. Yeah, and we've had about knee-high um, water through our place. Um, so yeah, everything's very wet and, and it had a lot of mud silt through the house. And yeah, the assistance today has just been outstanding. Absolutely, it's made a huge difference. Just the, the time that it's saved us is, and, and just the boost in morale has been great. You know, it's it's good to know that uh, there's there's assistance out in the community. So what would take them about three weeks, we were able to knock over in a couple of hours from this morning. Um, the officers are, are, that are helping are, are happy to do a 12 hour shift and start at 6 o'clock this morning and we'll finish at dark tonight. Um, and as I said, it's a credit to them and their, and their tenacity to want to help their, their fellow officers. I'd also like to recognise at this time the work of the Lotus Glen Correctional Centre. The staff there have deployed in number. We have uh, 10 or so officers arriving today. These officers are incredibly welcome and they just go to show that Queensland Corrective Services is a statewide entity, we support each other, we are one QCS.